Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about post-axial polyductile imaging. Post-axial polyductile refers to polyductile where the additional digit is on the ulna margin of the hand or lateral to the fifth toe. Post-axial polydactyly is more common than pre-axial polydactyly with an estimate incident of 1 in 3,000. Association Suppose axial polydactyly can be associated with trisomy, 13, Bardet bell syndrome, Michael Gruber syndrome, Kusik, Gaumann syndrome, following oral facial digit syndrome, like oral facial digit syndrome type 2, oral facial digit syndrome type 6. Certain skeletal dysplasia, control ectodermal dysplasia, early one gravel syndrome, Asphyxiating thoracic dysplasia, Smith Lemley Opit syndrome, certain short limb polydactyly syndrome, or sample type 1 and type 3. The majority of cases are idiopathic association with mutation to the GLI3 chain Z on chromosome. 7 as well as a second locus map to chromosome 13 have been implicated in post-axial polydactyly. Classification. There are many classifications for post-axial polydactyly. So, the last classification that Produced by Durant AL, the type 1 is skin up without nail or bone element. Type 2, hypoplastic proximal phalanx. Type 3, proximal phalanx malformation. Type 4, metacarpal malformation. And type 5, with triplication of the small finger polysyndactyly or both. This is an example of the post-axial polydactyly. So there is an additional digit at the MTP joint toward the little toe. This film a small irregular metallic Foreign body in soft tissue at the raja aspect of the right middle finger. Middle phalanx, which strategy with a pseudo articulation with ulna aspect of the right little finger metacapa representing post axial polydactyly. Thank you.